We are serving big gay bird energy today and I am living for it. Hello my fellow gods and goddesses, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and today ooh, we will be doing a book outlet haul. So if you guys want to stick around and see what I got, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so I this is my first book outlet order because uh, I had never heard of it. Well, I've heard of it, but I never like actually like actively went on there and looked and stuff. And y'all know how I only buy books if they're thrifted. And when I found out that these books were thrifted prices, I just about went crazy and I am so happy because I was like this is the best thing in the entire world so I I remember some of the books I got but not all of them so this is gonna be exciting Ooh, I'm so excited guys I'm so excited for somebody that like doesn't buy a lot of books and like a majority of my books are from the library or like ebooks and stuff like Having like physical books is so exciting to me and I don't know. It's just oh my god I already see some oh my god I'm so excited I'm so excited ah! So the first book I got is one I have been wanting to read for so long and the cover is just about the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen aside from myself so it is and I darken by Kirsten White ah! Ah! Oh my god look at this look at it look at it Oh my god, look. <sighs> I'm doing a Judge a Book by its cover, by the way. I, I am, that's how anti darken. I didn't know what it was about for like literally the longest time. I just saw the cover and I knew I wanted to read it. But recently I have found out that it is a uh, Vlad the Impaler retelling, and but it's a like female version of that. The Ottomans are one of the most intriguing historical um people groups civilization i don't know rulers there we go rulers um and vlad the impaler is definitely a very interesting historical figure so i really really hope this doesn't disappoint i have heard mixed feelings or, or mixed um reviews about this book but i'm just so excited oh i want to read this like immediately the next book i got is the shards of heaven by michael livingston the shards of heaven takes place after julius caesar's death and during the whole chaos with cleopatra and mark antony and all that stuff we follow the main character juba and he is trying to find these shards of heaven which were which are rumored to be like relics of many gods or one god and he already has the trident of poseidon that could have been the staff of moses as well i love a good national treasure story especially one set in ancient rome and hopefully it has some like religious discussion in it um especially like with whole polytheism and monotheism um i'm really excited to read this and the quality is like brand new so that's amazing this one is also a very gorgeous cover and that is glitter by april lynn pike it takes place in the modern day except in the palace of versailles where everyone eats drinks dresses um acts and everything like it's um like the late 1700s and everybody is like addicted to this drug called glitter and um it says there's like murder and stuff so i don't know i've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this book um actually a majority of people don't like it but i just i think the concept just sounds really cool um and i'm excited to just was looking on the back and i noticed that uh allison noel is one of the uh, authors that commented on it. If you guys 
don't know who Alice Noel is, she's the author of the Evermore series. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but it's like, I'll insert a picture right here, and I'm just like, that's who you chose to comment on your book? Ooh, oh my god, that doesn't leave me with very promising feelings, but it's okay. I'm gonna read it myself, and I'm gonna see how I like it, and if I don't like it, well, it was three dollars, so... Next one is very exciting and I'm so happy. Oh my god, and I got it in hardback and everything. Oh my gosh. Ah, Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Yes, everybody. This is this is the number one book or booktube. Like, please let me bow down to this book because it it is this is this is the one. This is the one. Like if all books were gone, but like this was the only book. Booktube would still survive, and that's that's the truth. Oh my god, let me look at the inside of it. Oh my god, the inside of it is so pretty. Look at the little moth and the guys. Oh my god, and it's in like perfect condition. I am so happy right now. Anyways, Strange the Dreamer is, I'm sure you guys like literally all know because there isn't a single booktuber that doesn't talk about this book. It's about this guy named Laszlo and he is like obsessed with this city called Weep that is like an Atlantis kind of thing where it's like not real or whatever but then uh, these like people from weep come and like I guess he's like supposed to save the people and there's like this girl and literally it's the plot to Atlantis the Lost Empire if you guys haven't seen that Disney movie uh if you have it you need to unsubscribe to my channel right now quit watching this and go watch it right now because it's a fantastic movie if you guys haven't seen it um but yeah it's literally that in a book from what I can tell of course I haven't read it yet but from the synopsis Laszlo is Milo Thatch and Kida is whoever the chick is named. I'm very much expecting that to be a five star read and if it's not a five star read I'm gonna be disappointed but also I won't knock it for like not living up to the hype because the hype is real. X book is Bitter Greens by Kate Forsyth? Forsyth? Kate Forsyth. Yeah. So Another one that takes place in France during the late 1700s. Man, I remember, I remember in my freaking most anticipated releases when I was talking about Enchanté, how I, how like there wasn't a lot of books written like during like the French Revolution and stuff like that. I mean, this is a, this is like a bit before the French Revolution, um, but like. I figured there wasn't a lot and clearly I'm eating my words right now because so far already like two of these books are taking place in that time period or emulating that time period. So my bad but this is so yeah this is a Rapunzel retelling there's like black magic power love um, she's locked away in a tower and she sings and like a man comes and like saves her and stuff so um, I mean I'm down for that. I love retellings. I've, if you guys saw my fairy tale a TBR you guys know. Uh, I probably should have like included this in that. Oops. Oh well. Whatever. I'll read it eventually. It's another beautiful cover. Oh my god. So this book is actually one of the books that I already had like tabbed on my Judge of Book Bites cover um, list before I even created my channel. So like this has been an anticipated read for me for quite a while and that is Burning Glass by Catherine Purdy. Burning Glass is about this girl and she is has this ability to feel what other people feel both physically and emotionally and she is basically a protector of this emperor and I guess there's like two two men so love triangle. Ooh she has to like choose to trust or betray and I, I, I just it sounds good okay it sounds good i don't know what to say i know i'm really bad at like synopsises but like i don't understand how like booktubers describe a book 
that they haven't read yet without like just like reading off the synopsis of the book like but like I feel like that's cheating am I the only one who thinks that I don't know let me down down below but like I I'm just really bad at like describing books that I haven't read yet without just reading the synopsis but like you guys could just like read the synopsis so I'm like what am I even here for why do you guys even watch me I don't understand but unlike glitter this one has a tag what are these called tags quotes I know there's a word for it but I'm a terrible reader that doesn't know what they are called so whatever it's by Amy Kaufman which I know is like a really good author I mean I am a written theme rumor book so who what do I know but it's not Alison Newell that's for sure but yeah anyways look at this cover it's gorgeous it's beautiful I want to do a judge a book by its cover and I understand majority of it's purple but there's like red in it and stuff so like I can make it different leave me alone it's fun oh this is really short <laughs> love that for me look this was $15 look at how small this book is how many pages is in this 144 pages for $15 I think not sir I didn't pay $15 for this thank god I would never it is <laughs> the fire of Aries by Michael Ford um this is another Roman or no it's not Roman it's Spartan obviously Heather look at the fucking cover <sighs> I swear I know what I'm talking about oh it's a middle grade oh that's fun I have never read a middle grade that wasn't Rick Riordan hmm that was an interesting revelation uh, a 12 year old kid named Lysander who is like a slave and then he becomes he's like chosen to become a Spartan warrior which if you guys know anything about the Spartans happened quite a lot now that I'm thinking about it a middle grade novel taking place in like Sparta during like war that's interesting because that is a very like graphic brutal society I assume there's gonna be a lot of censorship but hey we'll see well this one is the Witch Hunter by Virginia Boak. Hunter is about Elizabeth Gray. She is one of the king's best witch hunters, but she is soon accused of witchcraft herself, which is just so on brand for patriarchy, isn't it? A uh, successful woman? What? She must be a witch. <laughs> Anyways, so she is accused of witchcraft and tasked, or and sentenced to like burn at the stake but then her uh, but then this wizard comes around and promises to save her if she promises to like break a deadly curse but he doesn't know that she is a witch hunter it says it's like a Romeo and Juliet like love story obviously with like star-crossed lovers witch hunter versus wizard I love that I love that. I Forbidden romances is probably one of my favorite romance tropes. Especially if it's like enemies to lovers mixed in with like forbidden romance. But I I don't know. Seems seems pretty cool. One is one everybody knows and that is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. If you guys saw my come thrifting with me in my other my last book haul, you guys saw that I um, got all of the mortal instruments except for this one now i have the complete series and i love that for me uh let me just put that right here this one is poison's kiss by brenna shields and again cover love this slytherin energy i love femme fatales i think everybody does everybody loves a badass female and especially a badass female that kills men um if you're offended by that I don't know what to tell you so this is about a girl who when she kisses people they die and that is just so fucking badass like again poison ivy vibes yes give it to me I need it in my life and especially if she like falls in love with a man and she like can't kiss him <laughs> excuse me while I cry she can kill with a single kiss she's immune to poison 
Oh, she trains with Snake. Us, bitch. We love a Medusa moment. Until her next kiss is the boy she loves. See, I knew it. I knew it. I think it's a Middle Eastern story, which I love that. The next book I got because it reminded me of another very popular book on booktube, and that is The Thirteenth Tale. It's about this uh, author has written a bunch of these fairy tales and then she calls on this journalist to kind of record her life and the truth of her life and like her stories and stuff so what does that sound like to you? I don't know maybe like the five wives of Elizabeth Hutchin? I don't know maybe that's what it was called but sounds like that to me. If this can give me Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo vibes. I'm all for that. And the last book is Zodiac, a novel by Romina Russell. Another gorgeous cover. We love the stars. This is about uh, a galaxy where your sign determines which planet you call home. <laughs> love that! Um, actually, if I had to be in a planet full of Leos, Big yikes. Never mind. I don't love that. We don't love that. We don't stand. Please do not force me to do that ever. Um, Ro, the young guardian of cancer. Oh, we love a cancer. From afar. Don't, don't come to crying to me, please. Find a way to unite the divided houses of the Zodiac before an ancient evil destroys them all. The queen of all the galaxies is in the Leo. The book is canceled because I really like astrology and stuff. I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy this book. Um, Carrie, hit me up if you wanna, if you've read this, if you wanna buddy read this with me. Astrology queen, let's do this. I'm down. So here are my 11 books that I got. <gasps> So pretty, so beautiful. I love them a lot and I'm really excited to read all of them. All right guys, so that is the end of this video. If you guys liked watching me haul all of these books and if you liked this video, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe. Also watch Atlantis The Lost Empire. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.